Hello everybody, for today's beer review we're going to be taking a look at Lagunitas Brewery Hop Stupid Imperial IPA. Lagunitas Hop Stupid Ale is a beer that has pretty good ratings and Lagunitas Brewery is what I would call a good brewery. They're not amazing, they're not just okay, they're good. Some of their stuff has been really really good and impressive and some of it's been very lackluster and boring but this has a lot of world class marks on it. Um, the label says 8% alcohol, but on the computer it says 9%. I don't know which one it is, but either way, it's extremely high up there. And by the time you finish this whole bottle, you'll probably be feeling it. Um, it says 102 IBUs. That's ridiculously bitter. I mean, that's getting up there with like Arrogant Bastard and Founder's Devil Dancer and the likes. So that's pretty bitter. Um, it just says it's an ale, but on the computer, if you go to Beer Advocate, it classifies this as an American Double or an Imperial IPA, so it's pretty high, and the ABV kind of leads you to see why. Um, on here it says, they always have weird descriptions on their bottles, it says, clean this mess up or else we'll all end up in jail. Those test tubes and the scale, just get them all out of here. He was referring to the complex, supercritical CO2 hop extraction equipment set up on the table in the lab across from the brew house. Hop extracts are for the big brewers, he thought. Suitable only for crummy substandard and barely passable industrial lagers, not the subtle and elegant craft beer made here. But wrong he was. The new brewer does not eschew any possible inputs. In this case, the extract will replace the mountains of hops... Vegeta vegetative material, geez, vegetative material in the kettle, thus creating cleaner hop flavors and preventing the otherwise spinach like mess of a kettle full of super hopped wort from clogging up a pump or worse. The sensuous honey like amber ooze was administered intravenously to the wort kettle and the sacrament was complete. Another kettle of hop stupid is once again raised up and fermented on high call us at this number so basically it sounds to me like instead of hopping this with the actual hops they're using more like a hop extract which I've never heard of that before but anyway I guess that's like the, the brew house where it went down they're making out like it's a meth lab or something which is weird um, but yeah that's all there is to read on the label so without further ado we'll take the cap off pour smell and taste I don't think I have a black cap from this brewery so I'll take this off carefully to save it and I'll be drinking it out of an IPA glass today. Straight out of the bottle, it pours. Very light, goldish straw. Let's see if we can get a head on this. We made it. We made it. Don't worry, everybody. We made it. So that was an extremely aggressive pour. Getting a little bit uh, greedy with the big bottle, but there's still enough there for a another glass. Now this poured like two, two and a half, maybe even three fingers of slightly off-white kind of light tan head. Most people probably might get a finger to a finger and a half. I just kind of glugged it out as you saw. But there are tons of little bubbles streaming up from the bottom to reinforce the head. So it's probably going to stick around for a while. Holding it into the light, it is... looks like apple juice. It's kind of a golden yellow color. Not many amber tones or anything like that. It's more like yellow, gold, and honey. As far as smell, reminds me of um, a really grapefruity um, little something ale from the same brewery, Lagunitas, a little something. Lots of grapefruit in it, though. I mean, you obviously have your hops, and you can actually smell a little bit of an alcoholic sweetness in this. So the alcohol does present itself in the aroma, and... Like I've said before, if you can smell really little bits of caramel in an IPA, that's how you know it's probably going to be really good. It's very bitter, though. It's almost like smelling the rind or the skin of a grapefruit. And there's also, like, orange and tangerine and peach and apple and sweeter citrusy kind of style fruits. No, apple's not really, but those styled fruits. Um, but it is super ridiculously hoppy. It could even be considered hop stupid stupidly hooked. Um, so without further ado, let's give it a taste and see what it's all about. It's really good. That's um, It's not near as sweet as the smell would lead you to believe it is. It's a lot more like... 
it's a lot more bitter. There's definitely sweetness, but it's strange because normally with an IPA, you have sweetness up front, and then the bitterness comes in at the end and rounds it off. This is opposite. When you first swallow it, it's really bitter, and then sort of like light sweetness comes in at the end. So it's still balanced, but it's kind of reverse order, which is interesting. Maybe that has something to do with it being hop extract rather than just hops, how most beers do. Um, as far as just what you're tasting goes, though, it has the grapefruit up front, like you'd expect from an IPA, and then it has um, just sweet kind of hops in the back. It's weird. Like once again, I associate usually the sweetness with the citrusy grapefruit and the bitterness with the hops, but it's kind of reversed. It's more like bitter grapefruit up front and sweet hops in the back so I think maybe it's because they use hop extract I've never had one do like that basically take out any normal IPA develops when you drink it and just like reverse everything all the rolls and when things happen and what tastes happen um, so it's kind of interesting because it's it's not your normal IPA experience per se it's all kind of mixed up and, and different but it's really good um, as far as a rating goes it's pretty solid I would probably give it an 8.8 .8 out of 10, um, very high up there, and I would say look for it. Um, if you can find it, definitely buy it. I think I paid like six, five or six bucks for this bottle, and um, it's definitely worth it. It has a good burn to it after you sit for a minute um, due to the high alcohol, and even though you can smell it in the taste, um, they mask the taste of the alcohol in the drink itself pretty good. You can't really taste the alcohol in it. So anyway, that's been Hop Stupid by Leganese Brewery. Hope you guys enjoyed the review and stay tuned for the next one as always.